Hello there. How are you doing? I'm Sandy. I am your Zanay Beauty Products owner, creator, and I want to come in here and talk to you uh, about a product today. I want to come in here and talk to you about the product of Zanay Beauty Products. And uh, it's just so much, oh, so much. But we're going to get started with just implementing the um, basics of hair care for right now for today okay already well you know i'm gonna sh i'm gonna show you this video real quick so where you can see exactly what i'm speaking of and i'm gonna talk about hair care and hair products and then another day i'm gonna talk about skincare because i do have a skincare line too as well and i've been working on some other things behind the scenes so i, 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 I launched this business in 2020 2020 and i gotten you know i still have clients that i do myself and oh to back up to let you know what i do professionally i am i've been doing hair for 30 years i've been a cosmetologist i've owned two salons actually two salons and kind of like a salon suite one <laughs> I've, I've i've had that and also i teach i teach how to start a business and how to start a beauty business and all that but Today, for this particular platform, I want to go over some things with you about the hair care, the hair care of, um, and, and we're going to start doing more about talking about hair care, talking about the health of your skin and things like that, because I want you to be able to um, to get yourself together, to get, <laughs> I want to be able, to, I want you to be able to grow your hair, I want to be able you to get your skin together, and I want you to be able to just be carefree. And then I want you to stop using so much. I, I want you to grow your edges, I, you know, because I see a lot of that going on. And I want you to be able to stop using so much weave in your hair because you're spending unnecessary money. There's nothing wrong with weave. I mean, you know, hey, for a while I was selling hair weave myself and still may do some in the near future. But just to let you know that your hair is beautiful ladies you got gorgeous hair you have you just got to take care of it and i want to be here to let you know and give you some of the products i have or you know sell some of the products to you that i have and help you to either way do to do both and just care for your hair just care for your skin and your hair and you know and save some money in trying to correct it you know so we don't want to do that but i'm going to show you this short video and i'm going to show you one of my um customers you'll see where his hair is um and in the video you'll see where his hair he used this he also he used this hair serum to help the ball and spot in his hair and this is is for men too as well and then the shampoo and the conditioner he used that too and he also used the all-in-one every day he kind of put this in his hair every day so he I mean, and his hair grew back. So the products do work, but I do want to talk to you a few minutes and I want to sh and give you some tips. So just hang around and I'm going to show you this video and then we're going to get right into talking about it. Okay. All right. And I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Hi, my name is Dolores. And Sandy is my beautician. She's been doing my hair for years. And when I see years, I do mean years. And I love how she's been taking care of my hair. Whenever I notice a change in my hair, um, bring it to her attention. She immediately goes to work with it. And um, through the years, I've come to experience some thinning and breaking and shedding in my hair and quite naturally I was upset and wondered what was going on. I thought it was due to some medication I was taking but anyway told Sandy what was going on came over to see her and she um, started using her products on my hair and trust me I noticed a difference within a week I mean my hair stopped breaking, stopped shedding, and then, it, I mean, this product that she's using, oh my goodness, it works wonders. And I just want to say thanks, Sandy, for the interest and the care you take in doing my hair and making sure my hair is healthy and 
I'm doing what I need to do and you doing what you need to do. And this product, I recommend it. If you're experiencing baldness and breaking or whatever your hair needs, try this product. They're saying it's use it. It works. Shake it. All right, you guys, you see the product and you see this is a smoothing system that she has in her hair, but you also see the product. See how it makes her hair bounce and behave. Mm. Continue to bounce it, girl. <laughs> Where you see it? Hey, Zene mm. products. Hey, you better get you some. How do you like the products, Miss Holmes? Oh, I love it. I okay. love it. Okay, you guys, here. She loves them. Alrighty. Signing off and I'll see you guys in the store of Zene Beauty Products. Talk to you soon. Okay, and also along with that, I shared a few testimonials that use the product too as well. Now, I want to talk to you about taking care of your hair. First of all, now I know some of us may get chemicals in our hair, like relaxers, and then we have the protective styles that we use. But I want to just talk to you a few, for a few minutes and give you the basics of taking care of your hair and we're going to come in and talk on another day about a little bit more. And if you have any questions, you can comment below or either you can DM me and reach out to me. But first of all, in order to be able to have healthy hair, to keep your hair from shedding, to keep your hair from breaking, you definitely, it, it starts from within first. You definitely need to eat right. You need to make sure that you're eating foods and you get nutrients that's going to be able to kind of like synchronize with the cells in your body. Now, you know, having taken vitamins, taking the right vitamins, and I'm working on a, I'm working on a little, a booklet now, um, information guide for you. I do know that I do have one on eczema, so if you, it's not about hair, but if you click the link in my bio and get that one on eczema, it, it's no charge to you. You can get that and learn more about eczema. But I am working on some material because I definitely want to keep you educated on this hair growth crop, you know, this hair growth um, journey that you're on too as well. And then eczema, you can also experience eczema, you know, on the skin in your hair. So, you know, there are a lot of things that you need to make sure. One, you know, make sure that you're eating correctly, eating properly, eating the right foods, making sure that you are drinking enough water, drinking. I know some of us don't like to drink water a lot, but let me tell you, i body and our skin it thrives it thirsts for water just h2o that's the best thing since sliced bread it's going to make a difference in you you're going to see it it's not an overnight success kind of thing but gradually you'll see your body change you'll see your your skin change and you'll see you just feeling overall you just see yourself feeling much better now Another thing, when, when you use chemicals in your hair, when you get to the point where you're using chemicals in your hair, I want you to know that using chemicals in your hair, it requires you to take another step. And it requires you to take another step for us, keeping it cleansed, keeping it conditioned, and keeping keeping that heat off your hair to, you know, sometimes I guess a lot of people, a lot of people when you're using flat irons, curling irons, or even if some, maybe some of your stylists don't do it, you know, don't. Uh, you know, are not really focusing on minimizing the heat on your hair because they're trying to give you, they're trying to satisfy you with those styles that they give you. And sometimes those styles on your hair is not, you know, especially it, it's just not what you need. Now, let me just go back and say something too about relaxing your hair. When you relax your hair, your relaxed hair, when, when they're putting the relaxer on your new growth, or even if you get a virgin relaxer, a virgin relaxer is you pulling the hair you pulling um, the the chem the, the racks out over. You don't have any any chemicals in your hair, and they're pulling it out. They're smoothing it all over your hair. So that's what you call a virgin relaxer. Now, in that process, your hair doesn't need to be bone straight. A lot of you may think so, but that's when you come into problems. This is when you experience shedding, you experience hair breakage. Some of you may go and get those box relaxers and use them on your hair. You know why? 
those box relaxers, I'm going to tell y'all, that's the worst thing they could have created for your hair. And you notice a lot of people are experienced. I bet you, I'm willing to bet you any amount. I, I don't, I'm not a gambler, but I'm willing to bank on this that a lot of people that experience a lot of shedding in their hair, they go and they sometimes they take shortcuts. They get the, the box relaxes. They go into these beauty supply stores and get these whole kit relaxers and put in their hair. And then those little conditioners and things like that that they have in those boxes, that stuff doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm telling you, it does not work. What you need to do is you need, need to make sure you're getting stuff potent for your hair. My products are natural products. It's natural products for your hair. This all-in-one that I have, this all-in-one, is it has what I call it all-in-one. It's the super, it's the superior hair growth in, in its hair growth treatment. And the reason why I call it all-in-one because it does everything. It Strengthen, strengthens your hair, give you that luster moisturizer that you need. It gives you that shine that you need. And also I use herbs. I use herbs in all of my products. Okay. I infuse my herbs. And what I do is I make sure that I, I've researched and studied this here for, for years. And over the years that I've been doing hair for 30 years, over the years that I, when I've been doing hair, I let me tell you something. I know, I know this with, I know this like the back of my hand. I, with the, I have never, ever, ever seen anybody hair not grow when they take properly care of it, unless you have a medical condition. I have never, ever seen it. When you properly take care of your hair, you eliminate the shedding the breaking. Our hair go through different phases. That's another conversation for another day. But our hair go through different growth phases anyway. But I've never, ever, ever seen your hair. Any client hair that I've done, I don't care what race, of, what race, creep, whatever, whatever they are, I've done it all. I've done multiple, multiple ethnic groups hair. Okay. I not only African Americans, I've done it all. And they hair, you know, it's it is a difference. It's a difference in how you take care of it. It's a difference how much oil you put on a hair. It is so it's such a difference. And if you have chemicals in your hair, you need to make sure that you do not continue to dry your hair out any further. That's even with color. I used to work, you know, when I had my salon, there used to be times where you know, clients will come in. First of all, I would do a consultation, especially if it was a new person, because I know what I'm doing with my everyday clients. And I would always note down what I do do to their hair. But those that come in the salon that had never been in there before, they always would ask me, um, you know, they would like color. And I said, if you're not coming back and I would get them to sign a consent form. If you're not coming back in two weeks and let me deep condition your hair, I'm not doing your color. The money didn't mean that much to me. It didn't mean enough for me. So because if that person didn't come back, they would go and, and if their hair starts shedding, they're going, oh, that woman took my hair out. You ruined my reputation for as my professionalism, right? So I was not going to allow that to happen because that money that you were paying me just for that particular service wasn't going to, it was going to, you know, the the um word of mouth was going to outweigh just that particular service that you gave me. So I was not going to allow you to not come back and get the treatment that you needed, at least for me. Okay. So that's just how passionate and that's just how strong that I feel about all of this when it comes down to health of your hair. I see a lot of people go through it. I can be in a grocery store or I can be anywhere. I can just see somebody's hair without even touching the hair. I, you know, sometimes it, it's, it's a little bit, bit more underlining things going on with the hair than, you know, per se, than I would know, like maybe something, you know, for his medication that they're taking and things like that. But I can almost maybe, I would say 90% of the time, I can diagnose their hair without even putting my hand on it, without even touching their hair, because I know what healthy hair looks like. I know what, and, and especially that calcium buildup, 
if calcium build up, it's like, okay, what calcium build up, build up look like? It's like when your hair, you know how somebody get their hair relaxed and it's like, no matter what they do, it just still like, it just like, like that a wiry loop, you know, that's tend to be from calcium buildup. And it also depends on, you know, the texture of the person hair and things like that. But when you constantly use those box relaxers in your hair, that's what happened. You, you, your hair get resistant to chemicals that get resistant to, you know, conditioner, moisturizing conditioner. Sometimes you can't even, nothing you do will work. Nothing you do will work. So you have to make sure that you are definitely knowing and getting educated about what you need to be putting in your hair. And for as the braiding around your edges, I know you you know you want your little girls or your little, your princesses, you want them to look so beautiful. I do understand that, but stop putting all these braids in these young girls' hair. Stop putting these braids in their hair. Their hair needs it. It's very. It, it's not as as strong as you think and you want it. You want it to be, but you can you can braid them sometimes, but just try if you're going to do it, just braid them going down, you know, and then you still pull them from the sides. And then basically you can use something like this all in one in a hair conditioner or you can use the hair serum, but you don't want to ruin their hair follicles. You don't want to damage the hair follicles. So I would suggest you sometimes. I mean, my mom used to plait my hair years ago. And I know these young girls wouldn't dare want that now. And, you know, even the ponytail, the rubber band from the ponytail, the tension on the hair, it's just not good. It really isn't. Okay. So this is, I'm going to stop here today because I know that kind of like gave you a lot of, you know, just, just, I'm just basically giving you a overview of some things that we're going to be getting more deeply in and talking about. But I definitely want you to know. If you are interested, you can go and go to um, click the link in the bio up front and then go to ZaneeBeautyProducts.com. But I want you to make sure that, number one, let me recap some things, that you make sure that you are cleansing your hair. You make sure that you are taking, intaking, and eating healthy, you know, having your vitamins, eating more vegetables and things like that, and just getting away with the, you know, with all of the things that are not good for you. You know, you y'all know what they are, some of the things that are not good for us eating and getting rid of some of the sugar. Now, if you're on medication, I do understand, but you if you're on medication, I'm going to warn you and I'm going to advise you on something. Stop putting as many chemicals in your hair. If you're on medication, if you're on high blood pressure medicine, cholesterol medicine or things like that, a diabetes medicine, stop putting the chemicals in your hair as often. Start finding out ways to wear your hair natural, even if you have to cut it off and start over, but definitely these products will be good for your natural hair care okay so make sure that you're doing that and then those that have experienced COVID I had a couple of clients that experienced COVID and their hair started shedding but that's because of what the shock that your body has gone through and another thing make sure that you are not stressed stress can cause your hair to shed break you know it, it, it really can it can cause all kinds of things to go on with your skin and your hair. So make sure that you, you're trying to balance your life and have a peaceful dwelling. OK, and then another thing goes with if you are using chemical service and things like that, you need to deep condition your hair. You don't need to deep condition. You need to condition not, not out of this store, um, you know, going to these discount stores purchasing products that say, oh, this is good for my hair. You don't know how long that stuff has been sitting on the shelf. And then when you go to these beauty supply stores and they have your major name brand products, I want you to stop doing that as well. You know why I want you to stop doing that? Because a lot of times they purchase outdated product. And then when the product gets to their stores, it's already outdated from the company and the manufacturer. It's not going to guarantee it because I, I spoke to one of the major products on the street, you know, the major product company. And they, they were telling me that sometimes when their hair start coming out or whatever, people start calling them. But if you didn't buy it certified from a person that's qualified or, 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 you know, that have the right to sell it, you know, those professional products, then guess what? They can't, they won't. And they're not legally required to, they're not legally responsible to guarantee anything. And, and, and you are losing the code of law. 
you sure will. So don't think that just because, you know, you feel like you'll go there. And then too, those, do you know those products that they sell you, their price three, four, five times more. I'm telling you, I've done my research. They are priced. So stop going to these beauty supply stores that are not owned by you or, or, <laughs> or people that look like you or us or whatever. Stop going to those places and purchasing your hair care products, your relaxers and all that stuff. Stop doing that. They're selling you, giving you a little bit of activating, selling you a little small thing of it of them relaxing and they're making double almost triple the price that they paid for the um professional applicator stop doing that because i'm gonna tell you this is where a lot of your issues are nobody's paying me to say this i'm just looking out for you and i'm going to make sure that you stop taking stop damaging your hair so where you will ha won't have to wear weave as much i i would love to see the day when more women can wear their own hair and be more natural and weave can be an option. But now hair weave is a necessity. You have to wear it or you don't feel good about yourself. You have to wear it or you don't feel good about your hair. And I get so sick of and sick and tired of listening at some people and they got all this long hair and you can see them on their Facebook live. They're just rubbing their hand through their hair or whatever, you know, grow your own hair. I'm not just saying this because I am a professional beauty, um, <laughs> beauty professional. I, just, I, I, I don't understand it. Wear your own hair. If you wear your own hair and let your scalp breathe, your hair will grow. That's another thing. I will stop here today and we're going to get into tomorrow. What is going to be some things that you need to know? in order to take care of your scalp too but to help you to just get a daily routine of making your allowing your hair to grow okay all right i'll see you tomorrow and thanks and i'm gonna let you look at this one more time because i definitely want you to see that the products work and he only did what i told him to do shampoo his hair two three times a week you use the um use the oil nightly on his scalp and it helps it's it helped his hair within two weeks six weeks he really didn't even have that you couldn't even tell he he was bald anymore in the in that area and that's for anybody that's for women that's for anyone i mean i've always taken care you know make sure i've taken care of my hair and i'm i know i'm, I'm pulling my hair out my face because it was like some hair or whatever and this is my hair so here again Thanks for being here. And if you have any questions, please let me know. But I definitely want you to get educated on beauty and get educated on, you know, taking care of your hair, your skins, your, your nails or whatever the case may be. I, I really want you to do that. I'm very passionate about this. I've been in this business for 30 years and uh, educated for eight. So I know what I'm talking about. OK. And then also. Uh, for those that are interested in business, I, I'm, you know, I have a page for that separately. Beauty Empire CEO is the page for that. So that is where I educate those that are, want to start a beauty business. So because I am a business strategist as well, and I, I have that separate from this. But I definitely want you to know that you have to follow good practices. And then, I mean, it's going to just give yourself patience. Just be patient with your hair. Be patient, okay? And, and everything will change. And you'll be just as, you know, I have clients now. One more thing and I'm, I'm going to leave. I have clients now, say, when they will leave the salon, lady, people will ask them, is that a wig in your hair? I love those stories. I love it because you mean to tell me my hair looks so healthy that you think I have on a wig. That says a lot about how I take care of their hair. And that says a lot about my products that I use on their hair. Yes. People think they have a wig or a weave or whatever. But you know what? You can be the same way. Just take care of your hair. Take care of your hair. Don't be lazy about shampoo in your hair. If you have other questions to ask me about, you know, the frequency of shampooing is once a week. Really, for 4C hair and, you know, the likes, it's 
you know, other um, other races have to do theirs maybe daily or every other day. And that's only because of the texture of their hair. Okay. All righty. All right. See y'all next time. Oh, uh, before I go, let me just show you one more thing. Now, you see what I mean? See, that's because he did and he used the products and he took care of his hair. All righty. See y'all later.